So, no, questions, guys? Did you think it'd come in? Did you think your, did you think your international career was gone, or did you think it stayed home again? Um, we kind of held on to it a little bit, but um, it was a bit of a shock, obviously. Uh, my last camp was obviously the France one, and um, the France game went off injured, so it was looking unlikely, but they came in the summer and obviously was delighted. The season you had were difficulties with injuries at the start, and once you were fit, you seemed to play an awful lot, and Stoke were kind of saying, I suppose that gave you encouragement as well, that when you were fit, you, you played, played a lot when you were fit. Yeah, it was obviously frustrating because... I think I got I obviously got injured. I was in a good place, came out with Ireland, got injured in the game and it was a bit of a setback and um then I was I got back playing. Uh made a bold decision to kinda of do something before the game. I got an injection before the game that didn't really work out for me and then that sent me back again and it was just coming back from that took a bit longer. Some players in your position haven't had a season with a lot of injuries and obviously you've got the new contract sorted but you could maybe be excused for taking a break, but you're, you obviously wanted to be here. And be yeah, definitely. It's 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 something that you really enjoy as a player, as a person coming away with your country. It's um, it's the biggest privilege for you. You know, it's it, it's the pinnacle feeling for your career, and um, I was just delighted that I came again. David, you said that you got an injection. What game was that for? And what, what was the thing? Why that wound you? It was just a, it was just I had a impact on my toe, and um, I just. Uh, got it injected before we played Chef Wednesday, which I probably shouldn't have done. Um, it just didn't work, and then it was a few weeks out with that. Uh, came back and then got injured again in training. Is that one of those things as footballers where you just you do things to your body that maybe in hindsight you're thinking? Yeah, you just you just you don't want to accept it. You know what I mean? But you you just think you can get through it, and it just wasn't. It was a, probably a stupid move from me. Does make you think differently then in terms of? For the next stage of your career, in terms of what you do with your body and how you kind of what you not, next not stage. Yeah, I, I just it's a decision. It's a sport of the moment decision. You know what I mean? So it's just something that I did, shouldn't have done, and, and kind of sent me back. And then um, it was just another few weeks on the sideline. And just as far as in, 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 in being back in amongst the squad, what has it been like in terms of some new players maybe or just some more players to see again? Is it? Yeah, it's 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 uh, it was. It's a strange first day because it, you look like a new face because you've been out away from it for so long. But no, it's been good. We've had a, a good, a good session today. We worked hard and everyone's kind of getting to grips with each other and um, letting the guard down. And you can kind of see everyone coming to life. I suppose it feels a bit like a different, a new stage of your career as well. That kind of period that at Sheffield United and obviously with a few years out there and John and a few others, that's kind of come to an end now. It's just like a, a new stage of career. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's like I think. I don't know like what their situation is, but I think all the lads of that team are more or less gone now. I think maybe only one could be left with um, with John if he stays at Sheffield United. So it's a whole new transition for Sheffield United. But um, obviously we've had our successes there, but we will probably see a lot of played people move on. Good. And uh, um, just doing the records here, probably probably about Nessa, but I think it's quite under Martin and Neil McCarthy, Stephen Kenny. And now John O'Shea, so you played under four hours managers, so now he's only ever played on one. What's, what's John been like so far? Very early days, but you know, you'd have known of him uh, from your time. I think you probably overlapped when he was still playing towards the end of his career, if I'm not mistaken, but early, did you? I think my debut was his send off game, yeah, the, the USA, USA game. game. Yeah, yeah. Right around the time, actually, around, around the year. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, he, like he has a presence, you know, it's, everyone knows who John O'Shea is, his career that he's had, so mm. like he commands the room, he owns the room, and he, he knows what he's talking about. and. We're only having we've only had one or two meetings there, but you, you can see like he knows what he's talking about, and he's got the lads behind them, and we're looking forward to the two games. And without putting you on the spot, but I've got to put you on the spot anyway. Um, uh, do you think his credentials, if it goes well this window, do you think his credentials to become permanent manager would would be strengthened? Yeah, I think so. I think I think us as players will feel a bit of responsibility for that, and I think we we'll be back in it, and we want to go out there and put on the, as good a performance as we can, and. And what will be will be, but we'll we'll uh, we'll make sure we're we're, in, we're we're making sure he's in the in the fight for the job. And the rest of the guys around the Paddy McCarthy doing very well at Palace. Yeah. And also um, Paddy Martin and Ben Whelan, of course, you'd have overlapped a bit with them as well. Yeah. But, um, just what are they like around the place? Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. It's a good team. It's a good squad. You know, um, um, that their careers speak for themselves. You know, and it's my first time coming across Paddy. Um, but I was trying to pitch today. He was brilliant. It was a good session. Um, he, he's, he's got a few few sessions with us now, and that's that's massive coming up the game. So um, all in all, it's been it's been really good. Just a final one from me. Uh, you, you touched about the French match. 
that was a difficult first half for you in Paris. Yeah. Um, can you bring us back a little bit? I mean, it looked like you probably weren't at your full pitch. No, but um, yeah, no. Um, it was just one of them games. Um, it's just one of France, you know. It's, it's one of them games. I've, uh, I probably picked up the knock a bit earlier than what I did, um, and then I just tried to carry on. It just wasn't that. Yeah, but you've got a chance now to. Yeah, that's that's what's happening again at thirty-three. But you know what I mean. You've got a chance. You probably didn't think it was going to go. It's almost. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Listen, I'm, I can only here to prove myself, and uh, John's given me the opportunity, so it's up to me to take it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've always appreciated it. I think the, the biggest mishap was obviously COVID happening. For a, a good chunk of it, um, obviously the like COVID it just wasn't really. It didn't really feel the same, and it was it was probably at the time when we were most we were like one game away or two games away from qualifying, um, and that was the biggest disappointment about us that we lacked. We didn't get the chance to have the games with the fans in it, and um, it was tough around then. Um, and then obviously coming in, it was as you said, it was stop start. So I'm just happy still to be in the mo in, in amongst it. Do you think that was a major factor that that COVID and stop close and then over there? I just the, the games. It was just like it was just strange. It wasn't really it wasn't enjoyable. Like you want to play for your country in the Viva Cup in front of fifty five thousand, and you're playing your games there in an empty stadium. It just wasn't the same. It was the same when we were playing at Sheffield United. You were playing games against the best teams and. In the world, but it just didn't have that same oomph about it because there's just no atmosphere. Any questions, guys? Uh, John? Jonathan Walters, much dealings with him? Yeah, he came in. Uh, John's come in, and he's obviously he, he came in as uh, temporary at the start, and he was getting to, to grips with what was going on, and um, he kind of just stood in the background a bit, and then once he he kind of cemented the job, he kind of you kind of seen a bit more of him. He had a few few good conversations and. Um, and hopefully we can he, he, he would get together with the manager now and we'll be more competitive next season. Yeah, because the manager came in mid-season, didn't he? So it's, what's the freedom for next season? It's a, it's a great competitive league. It is, yeah, but it's every season. And we, we finished we finished strongly um, over the last few games. Um, our form was really good. It's just about, we just lack consistency. And I think it was in all departments of the football club. And hopefully John can kind of come in and because he knows it, he knows it. Like he's been there, he's done it. Um, he knows what it takes, and he can kind of mould that into into the team and into the players. Can I just ask, sorry, how satisfying it is to earn the contract extension? You know, when you go in on a one-year deal and you've had kind of difficulties just to come out there, and I know you've done enough to earn another year. Yeah, no, it is. It is. It's it's really satisfying because <coughs> the stage in that season when I probably didn't think I was going to be there, um, because when you're injured, it's out of your hands. You can't really. You can't really do anything about it, but um, I just kept my head down and just waited to, to get back in the team. And once I did, I, I thankfully I stayed there and we picked up a few results. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. Cheers.